What up, pimps? It's your boy. <clears throat> hey guys, quickly before I get into the video, Ancestors Legacy launches on May the 22nd. If you want 20% off, click the link in the description and use the promo code LEGACY20 for your 20% off discount code. And uh, yeah, have fun. Well, guys, I think it's safe to say Battle Lords have officially run out of ideas if they hadn't already. But, you know, it's a developer bong nonetheless, and you've got to give it to them. They're trying to keep people happy because their game's not going to be coming out for a little bit now, and they're trying to keep people happy with these devlogs. And there's basically nothing here. It's about horses. If you want some exciting news, leave the video now. But nonetheless, let's get straight into it. So, like I said, it's on the horses of Karadi, and they're trying to be very versatile with this horse improvements, where different breeds are suitable for different tasks. Now, there are a lot of breeds that are actually from Warband and you might recognize like the Charger, the Desert Horse, the Hunter, the Mule, which was that in, I don't think that was that Warband? The Saddle Horse, the Step Horse and the Sumter Horse of course. Now each of these have different charge damage, speed, maneuverability, hit points etc. For example I think the Charger will probably have a lot more charge damage and hit points but of course the Saddle Horse will probably have a lot more speed and maneuverability. And I've just noticed the Courser isn't on there. This is heresy! Why, where's the Courser? Now, like in Warband, the more horses you have in your party, the faster you're going to move on the world map. But now they've added a new mechanic into it. The more horses you also have, the more you can carry in your party. Now this is where it gets quite interesting. In Warband, when you upgrade troops, for example, as a Swedian, you go from a Swedian footman to a man at arms and then a Swedian knight, and instantly they just get a horse out of nowhere. It's different in Bannerlord though. Once you upgrade to the cavalry class, you actually have to get a mount for that troop. They don't just automatically spawn out of nowhere. And you keep this steady supply of horses. Like we said last week, we're having your own business where you can breed horses and things. If you don't have a horse breeder, you're going to be very limited to the cavalry you can actually have in your party. So the economy and your army work very much hand in hand, unlike they did in Warband. Now, of course, another big change that's actually come in is horses now get an equipment slot. You can put different saddlebags with your horses. You can put harnesses and armor. And this modifies the stats of the horse. It allows players to customize their mount to better suit their current needs depending on their current activity. Imagine it a little bit like Kingdom Come Deliverance. With a saddlebag you can put more in your horse, you can carry stuff. With the horse armor of course they have more hit points and once again with harnesses they'll probably be more maneuverability and easy to control. And hey, that's about it for this week's Bannerlord dev blog. I know, it's interesting. I was unsure about doing it since it was so little, but everyone on my Discord was like, Resident, make a video. And I was like, right, okay, let's make a late video. So, here you go. Here it is. Remember to use that promo code for Ancestors Legacy for 20% off if you want to see some gameplay and stuff of it. I'll be putting up a review tomorrow? Maybe. We'll see. But it is a great RTS game. But it's a bit of a mix between Total War and a more cinematic style game. It's really, really cool. So if you guys want to go and check it out, make sure you click the link in the description. But like I said in yesterday's video, the next few days will be the Paradox Con streams. So I'll be playing Paradox games each day. I'll be doing giveaways. You'll have massive discounts and stuff like 70, 80, 90% discounts on Paradox games, such as Hearts of Iron City, Skyline, Stellaris, Crusader Kings 2, all that good stuff. So make sure you pop along to the streams. The schedule is in the last video yesterday so if you want to go and see the schedule just look in my pinned comment yesterday and you can see all that schedule stuff i'll probably put it in today's as well so just look in the comments and you'll find it but thank you for watching and until then i will see you in the next one